India is clearly a space superpower and we've been at this for 40 years now. Give us a short account of India's own space journey and specifically the role of aeronautical and aerospace engineering as a discipline in India that has gotten us to where we are. Yeah, I think India's uh, space journey is actually very fascinating from where it started to where it is today. Um, I think a lot of people actually point out that we actually started in a church uh, and that was an auspicious beginning. And um, I think what basically happened is uh, in 1963, there was a predecessor to what is today called ISRO um, that was established, which was something called Indian Committee for Space Research. It was more like a committee, as you can see, right? And then they selected about six people um, to go to the U.S. and uh, pick up something about rocketry and come back. And so uh, they had the opportunity to uh, come back with some sounding rockets. And then they started practicing launching sounding ro rockets out of uh, Tumba, where, through which the magnetic equator passes. And uh, so they had a purpose to do those sounding rockets instead of just looking at it as a, a, a play field for learning rocketry. Uh, that's actually been India's um, raison d'etre, de, raison as they say, that you always have to do, even if you're actually doing something of a learning, you have to do this with a purpose. Uh, because uh, particularly around those times, uh, India was actually not necessarily the richest country in the world. And uh, there had to be like a purpose to spend taxpayer money. So uh, doing research uh, into the um, ionosphere Right, right about the magnetic equator had some purpose, and um, the sounding rockets actually came in handy for that particular reason. But from then on, it's actually been a combination of prudent um, scouting for technology to be obtained from France or Russia or any of those uh, quickly to a huge amount of first principles applications uh, to build rockets and and spacecraft. And uh, the motive has actually been more of self reliance. And um, Vikram, Vikram Sarabhai's very impactful words that we are not here to actually go to the moon or uh, Mars and all of that stuff necessarily, but uh, whatever actually you know, works for India is what we want to do. So it's been more uh, nation focused. Um, we've always actually looked at a top-down approach where what's a, what's a payload that will actually uh, help a, a, let's say, a, a fisherman or a farmer or a, a healthcare or education, any of those kinds of things. So we've had these uh, EduSats, CartoSats and uh, MotionoSats and all that stuff that have actually been de de developed from payloads all the way back to satellites. And from those satellites, we now try to classify this as either an IRS satellite or a communication satellite, like an InSat. And then we had these two classes of satellites for which we developed PSLV and GSLV. And, um, and and we got to the point where we have to be able to launch our own satellites to do what we want to do. Um, so we then actually became uh, big in launch vehicles. So today, uh, with these launch vehicles, we can now go to the moon, we can go to Mars, uh, and we go, or we can, we can go uh, probe the sun. All of these things are actually happening on the backbone of these launch vehicles that have actually been developed specifically for those purposes of uh, Earth observation and communication. And all of this progress could not have happened without the aerospace engineering programs that were already in place at places like IIT Madras or MIT. MIT Crompet actually plays, uh, played a very good role even before IIT Madras uh, started, but IIT Madras has had a very good share. Uh, IAC Bangalore has been a huge uh, source of, you know, it is correct. And uh, and then we have had uh, Satish Dhawan, uh, you know, come from there and uh, Rodan Narasimha. All these boyans have actually come out of there. But I, the Kanpur has done a great job. Parakpur, Punjab Engineering College. That's one of those things that has been around for a very long time. And You know, and uh, the moment uh, Chandrayaan landed on the moon was a matter of immense pride for the entire country. It was almost like, uh, you know, like a full stop to a paragraph with just the first paragraph of the book written. I think there's a lot more to come. A lot more elect lot more aerospace engineering to happen and a lot of a lot more achievements to to see. You know, India has a very clear space program, including human spaceflight for the next several years and decades. 